Jeremy, women may have special considerations when it comes to our finances and managing debt. A free upcoming conference can help you plan for those needs. State Treasurer Stephen Johnson is here with Kim Borchers, who is helping to plan the event. So welcome to both of you. Appreciate it. Why take this approach? What is this event specifically for and why did you feel it was needed, Steve? Well, a number of things. One of the goals we have in the office is just around financial literacy. How do we engage? How do we help people with the issues that they have? And then looking at the challenges, retirement planning is hard. And for women, it's just a little harder because life expectancies are longer, often the second of a couple to uh, go. And mm -hmm. meeting those needs is a challenge. How do you plan through with those harder challenges that are there? So when you were thinking of who you could have speak and what topics to address, Kim, what did you want to make sure that you touched on and who did we come up with to address these things? Well, we're really excited. We have a, our headline speaker is Candy Valentino, and uh, she is an amazing entrepreneur who really went from a rags to riches story. And so we wanted that inspiration for women so they could see that anything was possible. But you know what? We kind of ask questions around the table for the women who were organizing saying, what matters to you or what are the things that you wish you knew? you know, to your younger self, what would you have told yourself? And that's really how we created the programming. And, you know, that, that adage that they used to say, there's three things polite people don't talk about, religion, politics, and money, that's probably the worst advice we were ever given because we need to be talking about those topics. So we want to create an environment where women feel really comfortable, they can put their guard down, they can ask questions, there's no silly question, mm -hmm. and we want them to be able to leave with a plan for a roadmap that they will have the financial security that will allow them to make better monetary decisions. Isn't it interesting? Like generationally, I think back, I mean, I do remember my mom was the one who kept the checkbook and would be the one who was writing out the bills, but she also was the second income in the family and figuring that all of that through as my father's health declined and now he has passed away. But generationally, the women were the second income. The women weren't necessarily the ones who controlled the bank accounts. So how are you kind of tipping it both ways? Because now younger ladies, we're all out there going, well, I'm earning my paycheck and so how did you make sure you were addressing this from both sides of the coin the younger folks and the younger women who maybe have taken a little bit more control over their finances and maybe some of those in an older generation who are just learning these things so it is all over the map and where each of us comes from is a different place so there are some different tracks of different types of breakouts that people can attend whether we're looking at getting started with some things or all the way to looking at starting a business which may be a little more complicated and what we're really fortunate in is there are so many entities that have great information. So we just had the opportunity to be the clearinghouse to work with those sponsors and say, okay, if you were trying to answer these questions, what's your best content to meet that? So we're just excited to be able to put that together. And you're able to offer it for free, Kim, which yes. is really cool, but people do have to register. Absolutely. Yes. And as we always say, nothing is ever free. We have some amazing sponsors and yeah. we are so appreciative of them and their investment because they see the value of it too. So we, we want our ladies to sign up and we look forward to filling that building. On and how Tuesday. does this play into the entire mission of the state treasurer's office? It's not typically that I've, I've necessarily heard of, I mean, you're always giving away unclaimed property, <laughs> Yes. but now you want people to go out and get some, some property. Yeah, <laughs> so working all of that together. So there are a few other state treasurers that have done a women and money program. So we looked at that and I was really fortunate not too long after I took office, Kim walked in and said, you need to do a program like this. <laughs> and here you are. And she is right. So we looked around to say, what uh, good ideas can we replicate? Uh, what resources do we have right here, which were awesome, and uh, put it together. So this is our first time at it. And our goal is, how do we just help people make better financial decisions from wherever, if I'm just getting started, if I'm just trying to find the best next step. And uh, it's a, a lot of fun to explore that. And that was my background prior to the treasurer's office. So uh, I'm just really excited about that chance. Well, we want everyone to know how to register because it is limited space. So if you think this sounds interesting, get your registration in now at treasurer.ks.gov slash women hyphen money. This is being held all day, Tuesday, October 15th at Children's Mercy Park in Kansas City, Kansas, which is very free, but again, free but you must register, so do so. I'll have that link on WIBW.com as well. Steve and Kim, appreciate you both being here. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. We have your tune-up.